Hi everyone and welcome to this video on finding an equation when given stationary points. Um, we're going to have a look at general equations for cubic functions but also some of the other um, polynomials in this video and we're going to deal with problems where we seemingly don't have enough information to be able to answer the question but we can actually still get enough out of it. So to begin with we'll have a quick look at this question here. Um, we have a cubic equation with in x-intercepts at 3 and 2, and it also has a local maximum at the coordinates 1, 4. So find the equation of the curve. To be able to do a question like this, first we need to know the general form. And so for a cubic equation, that form is y equals ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. This can be extended out to any uh, polynomial of any order. So um, you know, we just keep on adding more letters each time. Works out pretty well. So here we have a general form and we have some information in the question. So we're told that we have x-intercepts of three and two. What that means is we have the coordinates three, zero or two, zero. And we also have a local maximum at one, four. So this information can give me three equations. But the problem is that I have four variables and I actually need a fourth equation to be able to um, get the answer. I'm going to start off just figuring out these three. So what I can see with the coordinates three, zero is that when x equals three, y equals zero. So I can substitute those into the equation. That's going to give zero equals, now it's a times three cubed plus b times three squared plus c times three plus d. And we can simplify that to be a, sorry, 0 equals 27a plus 9b plus 3c plus d. I'm going to call that my first equation. The second equation comes from the coordinates 2, 0. So again, we're going to substitute that into the rule. And I'm just going to figure this out fairly quickly. So the second one will be 0 equals 8a plus 4b plus 2c plus d. So that is our second equation. The third equation comes from the coordinates one, four. So I know that when y equals four, x should equal one. So that's going to give me a times one cubed, which is just a. That's going to give me b times one squared, which is just b and you get c and so on. D will always be there. So that is the third equation. The fourth equation actually comes from the fact that we have a local maximum at the coordinates 1, 4. And what this means is that when x equals 1, I'll just deal with this here, so when x equals 1, the derivative is equal to 0. And luckily for us, we can get an equation for the derivative, so I'm going to do that just down here. So dy dx, if I differentiate the original equation should be 3ax squared plus 2bx plus c. And again, I know that when x is equal to 1, the derivative is equal to 0. So subbing that into this equation now, I'm going to have 0 equals 3a plus 2b plus c. And that is my fourth equation, which now means we have sufficient information to be able to solve this. Now that being said, we still have four equations and it's not very nice. So I was gonna say that it's not very nice uh, to have to do these without a calculator because the algebra involved is just fairly intense. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna bring up the calculator and just going to put everything in here. Let's move this out of the way a bit. Okay, so our first equation is zero, well actually before I even do that, I better set up the simultaneous equation solver. I need to have four rows for four equations. So the first one is zero equals 27a plus nine b plus three c plus d. The second equation is zero equals eight a plus four b plus two c plus d. The third equation was four equals a plus b plus c plus d. And the fourth equation, 0 equals 3a plus 2b plus c. And I'm going to solve that for the variables a, 
B, C, and D. And so that tells me that A equals 3, B equals negative 16, C equals 23, and D equals negative 6. I might just write that down here. So we get A equals 3, B equals negative 16, C equals 23, and D is negative 6. And so based on that, I now can find out what the equation of the curve is because just subbing them into the general form, we get y equals ax cubed, so that's 3x cubed, plus bx squared, so that's minus 16x squared, plus cx, so that's plus 23x, and then plus d, which is minus 6. And so that is the equation of the curve there. Um, quite nice really. Now an alternative approach here would be to use the matrices um, method. And so to do that I'm going to go into math 2. I'm going to set up a 4x4 four four matrix for the coefficient matrix. And so in that I need to have 27, 9, 3 and 1. I need to have 8, 4, 2 and 1. I would need to have 1, 1, 1, and 1. And I would need to have 3, 2, 1, and 0. So these are all just coming from our equations. The coefficients are 27, 9, 3, 1, 8, 4, 2, 1, and so on. And you might remember from this method that we do the coefficient matrix to the power of negative 1. And then we multiply it by the solution matrix. So adding a couple more rows here which the solutions to those equations were 0, 0, 4, and 0. And if I hit execute with that, I should get the same answer. A is 3, B is negative 16, C is 23, and D is negative 6. Anyway, I think uh, that's about all for this video, so I'll leave it there, and see you next time.